All right, uh, I wanted to do a review of this item that I got in the mail uh, today. Um, it is a uh, HDMI uh, upscaler for the Wii. Uh, basically, what you do is I'm going to open it up by putting it in the package for the video. Oh, and I'll throw up some gameplay on here. Blah! Anyways. So you get this this little box here, and uh, basically this is the port that plugs into the Wii, and the back is an HDMI port, and you can have you have an optional audio thing. So if you have headphones or something, you want to listen to headphones, uh, you know, play your Wii in quiet so your parents don't have to listen to your goddamn ass, then um, you know they have that. Anyways, so basically you plug it into your Wii. Make sure that you select 480p on your Wii. And, uh, you know, try to get it in widescreen. So it will be the optimal settings for this. But basically all you do is you plug this into the back of your Wii. Then you get an HDMI cable and plug it right here and then into your TV. Of course, you'd have to select your HDMI inputs. And uh, it, from my experience, works insanely well. Uh, it only does 1080p though, so if you're looking to do anything lower, it doesn't do that. So if your TV doesn't support 1080p, uh, you can't really use it. And this cannot be used to like capture from an HD PVR because uh, HD PVR only accepts up to 1080i, which was kind of a disappointment to me because I was actually looking to be able to capture some footage from this. However, it is definitely makes up for it with the fact that it just looks really awesome. Uh, I was playing uh, Twilight Princess with this and uh, it, it looked great. Uh, it really cleans up a lot of the jagged edges and um, it fills the screen perfectly. There's no black bars or anything. And uh, yeah, so um, it also helps like it can help your gameplay too to have a little bit of a clearer image Just say you actually play uh, Call of Duty games on the Wii and you know you want to see something but everything's kind of jagged and sometimes it's just it, You can't see everything and this kind of clears that up and uh, would help you play that in fact I actually played Modern Warfare 3 on my Wii with this and I'm not going to say it looks like the Xbox 360 because obviously there's difference. There's a big difference in lighting, and you know the 360 or the PS3 are definitely more powerful machines and can can handle a lot more. But I was surprised at how close this actually brought the image to looking that you know to looking like a next gen or an HD kind of uh, what the hell like an Xbox 360 style look. Like I said, again, it's a far fa far cry from, from that, but uh, it still was uh, really made it look amazing. Um, this also works with just about anything you put in your game in your in your Wii. So I was using GameCube games. The only issue I have with this, other than the fact that it doesn't support the other resolutions that I can record, is that it um, doesn't do good with 480i. So if you're trying to upscale 480i with this, it's kind of blurry. It does look make it look a little blurry. So um, if you have component cables, I'd keep them nearby the uh, the Wii. If you're gonna play a game that has 480i, like I was, I had the Midway Arcade Treasures uh, collection, and I wanted to try out uh, Hydro Thunder in 1080p, but it really was blurry, and it just looks better in 480i um, through component cables. It's a lot sharper. But when it comes to 480p, which if you're looking to play Wii games and some GameCube games all support, or some GameCube, let me rephrase that, some GameCube games support 480p, um, it makes them look amazing. I was playing Soul Calibur, it looked excellent, it was great. <laughs> it's also, of course, I was also playing some N64 stuff, I was, I was amazed by it, it stretches it, but... I don't know about everybody's TV. My TV has like a 4x3 option, so you can uh, squish it down to 4x3 so it's not all stretched. So, you know, that definitely helps. But, yeah, this is... Um, I have to highly recommend this. The only way I don't recommend it is if you are if you want to buy something solely to record, you know, the Wii in HD or something through an HD PVR. But uh, if you have an HDMI capture device that does 1080p or whatever, 
this would definitely be a good option for that. There's another uh, upscaler. It, I, th I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I think it's like the Vidigi or something. I think it does more than that, more resolutions than this thing. But this was really relatively cheap. I don't know the, I don't even remember the price, but I got it as a, a birthday present. Uh, basically, I got a bunch of eBay cards like I did for Christmas, and I, I bought this with it. Um, I also got a uh, component to, oh wait, no, HDMI to component com converter box because I thought I was going to be able to capture it with the uh, HD PVR. But I got that coming in the mail, so I'm sure I could figure out a different uh, use for it. But, um, I mean, maybe you can figure out a way to downscale this with a, something else, but I don't know. So, yeah. So, it, what's good about this, though, is that the that Vidigi thing I spoke about, and the reason I brought it up was because, other than, even though that seems to support more resolutions, it is a, looks to be a fairly large contraption, and includes lots of wires. I believe it requires power. This does not require any power. You can just plug it right in and it upscales it to 1080p. And like I said, with 480p images, it looks excellent. Um, trying to think of other games that I played with this that, oh, like, yeah, like I said, Soul Calibur. Um, Ocarina of Time looked excellent. Just like I said, you had to kind of, unless you can deal with that insane stretching, you probably should kind of squish it down a bit. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I did Starblade. That's a, uh, I have a modded Wii, and Starblade is a, a Namco game that was in the arcades. It's one of my favorite games, but it's not very popular. And um, they released Starblade in Japan, and uh, it was not released in uh, the States or anywhere but Japan. And basically... Um, I because I have a modded Wii, I was able to find a patched uh, WAD file, and it ran that, and it looks excellent. The only thing is that that game is not very complicated, so it's not you know as good as some of the other stuff. It, you know, it doesn't look as good. It just looks a little less jaggy, but it's not like amazing. Um, but yeah, anything basically that you can get your Wii to play will uh, play in you know ten up to 1080p. And, uh, you know, so if you have a modded Wii, you get the emulators and all that stuff. You can play it in 1080p, uh, which is cool. And uh, any kind of homebrew or anything. So, of course, this is an upscaler. Not, it's, you know, you're not running it in, in native 1080p or anything. It's just, you know, it just clears it up, makes things a lot easier to see. And it just, it looks a lot better without the, that blockiness that, you know, that nasty look that some of the games tend to have that include the blah 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 something that anti-aliasing would have you know been a nice thing for but you know this is a good option it's not as good as anti-aliasing probably but anti-aliasing with upscaling would have been nice but this definitely clears that up just a good amount and so th for that it is definitely, uh, if you like high definition, if you want clear images, I definitely recommend this. It is a very compact idea. It's, you know, you don't need a million cables hanging around. Uh, you don't need a hundred bazillion different things. You just plug this into the back of your Wii, put an HDMI cable in here, and then you can put the uh, HDMI into your TV, and that's that. So, yeah, it does work very well. So, pick this up. Unless you don't give a crap about the image, then, you know, then you'd be like me when I was like, you know what, it was a couple of years ago when I didn't give a crap, and then I saw someone's HD TV and I saw what was playing, and I was like, oh my god, I need that! So then, you know, I upgraded from a uh, CRT to a HD TV. D did you really need to know that? Because I don't think so, but um, this needs to be in your house. Unless you don't have an HDTV or you don't give a shit. Okay, so yeah, this is I, I definitely recommend this. Definitely get this. Um, and that's that.
Oh, by the way, did I say I was going to put some uh, footage up of this? Well, I'm going to do that in another video because this video is a little long and I don't want to people, you know, drag it on too much. So that will be part two. Part two.